What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, uh, we were um, uh, going off the rails of the crazy train, and I can't even explain it other than Gamer was a train wreck. So, um, yeah, that train ground to a halt real quick. Sorry, there was a car in front of it, basically told me to slow the f down. Um, and what I learned as well is that uh if i go on here well you know how we've been getting hope fragments and stuff yeah i used two of my five talking g opportunities that actually gained me something with nekamaru this early so i really need to hold restraint okay like it's fine nekamaru is gonna be there for you it's okay he can console you later it's okay everything will be okay it'll be fine oh I can walk. So I wanted to go to the... Oh, hi. I needed... Um, Ibuki. Um, oh, hey! Are you ready for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyways, what are you doing at a place like this? I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all that yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking! I'm gonna avoid it like the plague because, yeah. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Hajime and me have, like, completely different tastes right now. It's kind of funny. Our buds are not aligned, okay? Like, here's the thing. Terra Terra. The party's gonna be at the old building near the hotel. Wow, I can't even go to the airport. I wanted to go to the airport and see if I could find one of the Monokuma things. But, you know, no, not allowed. Not allowed to do that. Hi, Mikon. Um, and Pekko, two characters I'm okay with talking to. Like, three characters in a row that I'm fine with okay. I, I say that like I'm not okay to talk to any of the characters, but like literally most of the characters I'm okay with talking to. It's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I'll do my best to not get in the way. So, it, it's fine if I just stay here, right? Are you worrying about something like that? Yes. It's okay, Mikon. Me in public spaces too, Mikon. I feel it. I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Oh, Paco. It's okay, Paco. Uh, you just basically confirmed he's alive, and that's what matters. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks a lot worse for wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. A boba body check. Once, since I'm the one hosting the party, it is necessary for me to take all possible security measures. I already promised that I would not allow any one person to become the victim. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my hand, stood up straight. Byakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of, of course I haven't. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Hmm. It was at this moment I noticed a strange item near where Byakuya was standing. Metal cases? Duralumin, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This is one... This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during the body check. And this one's for... Well, let's just say emergencies only. What does he mean by em emergencies? Don't worry about it. The others are already, have already gathered here at the dining hall in the back, so go wait there. As soon as he said that, Byakuya also turned his back to me. I guess that was the end of our talk, but he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. Um, and what did he mean by emergencies only? Not gonna lie, I am totally cool with that. Like, if he wants to do that, if he wants to play it safe, I am all for playing it safe. Playing it safe is usually the best way to go in most case scenarios, unless you're playing Fortune Street, but... No, don't even think about it. 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 I literally said he was going to be my partner to the freaking thing. I have to. I'm sorry. There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Yes, we're heading over there together. That's why I brought you. I said we're going now. We're playing it safe. We're going to do this. Sonia... No, Sonia, that's fine. Um, storage room. Wait. He said the dining hall. Old building storage room. 
Did we go the wrong way? I totally went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, see, I'm. this is why I, I need you to hold me in check. I definitely didn't do that on purpose. These are irons. They were used to pre prepare a tablecloth, so if so, why are they there? I used to head over. To, I should head over to the dining hall. I don't know how, how dusty it is in here. Yeah, um, I oofed. It's fine. I, 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 I'm bad with the directions, Nekamaru. It's it's okay. Like, I mean, I, to be fair, I don't even know where I'm going in the first place. Sonia, do you know where we're going? I'll actually talk to you now. <laughs> So, this is what it, the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is it because it's so old? Okay. It must tread carefully so I, my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess you're a princess. Even the little things are exciting. Yes, that makes sense. Is this the dining hall? No. Oh, Nekamaru is literally... Uh, you know, I took you for a stroll in the closet. It's okay. Nekamaru's like, I'm standing right here. What are you even talking about? I'm like, uh, yeah, I definitely didn't want to just go into the, you know, random closet. It's okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hajime. How do you like it? What do you, what do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the red carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're a commendable guy, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, commendable. Totally. No, honestly, what he did, I'm, I'm giving him a lot of flack for no reason. It's complete unwarranted flack. This man had us play chopsticks. Man literally lost chopsticks and cleaned up the entirety of this room. And I'm over here like, yeah, you definitely did it to be fake. No, it is part of his personality. He's he's conflict avoidant. Just anyway, hi Chiaki. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll let us leave or let us get out of here alone. We've got to do something about it. You're right. We should do something. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. So we're on the same page then. Not sure I understand. Anyways. Mihiru. This old place is sure run down. I feel bad Nagito went all through the trouble of cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out these floorboards. Maybe the woods maybe the woods sank because of the deterioration. Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread up enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess that won't be that big of a deal. But but it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. I mean me too, so Mikan, I feel you. Where oh Mikan's not even here. Um, is there anybody that I necessarily want to talk to? Don't really care about squish squish squish. Kazuchi, I guess. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting gro getting groped thoroughly by a man, that's the worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How Plus, he got super pissed. I started yelling at me when he noticed he had a wrench on me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having the wrench in the first place, dude. It just happened to, I happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it calms me down. But Biakia put it in the Darlin case of his. Ugh. Um, are we supposed to do anything? There's a lot of fancy looking party dishes on the table in the front. Do I have to... Is this like a talk to everybody moment? I shouldn't leave... Oh, it is a talk to everybody moment. Okay, so even if I didn't want to talk to Squish Squish, I guess I do. <laughs> that creepy Akio rubbed his, rubbed his hands all over me. And I, he called it a body check? Uh, more like harassment. <laughs> That's not what it is, silly. He did the same thing to you got the guys, too. So, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Uh, uh, I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. Oh, boy. This is why we don't care for you very much. You're crazy. Gundam, settle us down. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are the most impressive indeed. Nevertheless... Even the food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Hey, 
hey, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Yeah, we figured. It, it's a Kane. Like, I, I'm sorry. We, we, we knew that was coming. Such a big table. Will the dishes be placed there, too? AC. It's nice to see that there's air conditioning, but the filter might need to be cleaned when we turn it on. Probably talking about the fancy looking plates. Oh, is this iron plates? That reminds me, I saw some some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are the iron plates bolted on the walls? All is not what it appears to be, huh? One of my four divas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shroud amidst the darkness. Though uh, that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. <laughs> a window? There are no windows in this dining hall at all, so I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? Hmm. Sandy, it appears that your fur is rustling more than usual today. Why, why are the iron plates covering the windows? Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp on the first breath. And countless more go to the all way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess it might have something to do with that. But this place sure is, has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly we heard a voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring throughout <laughs> the dining hall. Thank you for waiting. Terror Terror was in the kitchen. It appears Fu Yuhiko did not come. I apologize. I did inform him b about the party, but... It's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. What do you mean by that? More importantly... Hmm. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Byakia's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Dangerous! He stomped his way towards the table. Oh my gosh! What the heck? What? Responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Hey, it looks like everyone is here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest, huh? Oh? What? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. Who made this dish? Um, that would be me. Um, but are you a, a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 dangerous. That's chorizo. It's a South American meal where you stab the meat with an iron skewer to cook it. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would be totally fit to the party's atmosphere. The iron skewers are a problem. Why? Uh, the iron skewers aren't allowed either. If that's how you're acting, then we might be more. There might be more skewers with than just these. Hey, Hayame, come with me. I need your help. Why me? It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Byakuya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Did he, like, go PTSD or something over the first game? I mean, it makes sense. I'm not going to give him crap for that because the first game would have been traumatic enough for him. Alright, it's in the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there's no more dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Byakuya stopped in the kitchen after, and, and I followed after him. Listen. Let's get on with it. Search this place thoroughly. He issued an order, and Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen for one, from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those, too. Natural search. 
they're definitely dangerous items. If you have eat, if you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Biakia threw the forks and knives into the dural, <laughs> duralumin case, one after another. You're being very thorough about this. It appears to be various types of knives, but these, out of the question. The knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Biakia grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it in the dur duralumin case with the rest. Uh, of course. So Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on a bone. That Teruteru, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat all that much food. Seems like there's no dangerous items on that skewer. On the chorizo, in the chorizo earlier. Um, inside that nice pile of food. It appears to be the case. Whew. I wouldn't have known that, known what to do if he had said fish bones, meat bones, or were also dangerous items. Um, this paper is... I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, and 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for the barbecue and a portable stove for the cooking hot spots. Iron plates, portable stove, I do recall them being on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old and the kitchen is impressive. Or though the building is old, this kitchen is impressive. Compared to the normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. But it is strange. One of the items on this list seems to be a short by one. Hey, is it necessary to go that far? Or the, Hey, is it necessary to go this far? I'm doing this because it is necessary. I am to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim. I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is this all? What do you mean? Well, I'm assuming... I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a, a party, so suddenly, I can't help but think there's a reason for that. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I know. A distrustful person? Hmm. I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll tell you a little bit. I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Biakia has a past he can't talk about. Distracting others from and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It is inevitable that I would end up this way. But in this kind of a situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we were to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past that you had mentioned, That's now it is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be time when I can tell you about it. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I had thought we'd ever have. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he had used. He sure works this hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. What? This kitchen is a mess. What happened here? Don't you raise your annoying voice. I removed all the dangerous items. Uh, there's no knives, no forks. Why? How come? I literally just said I removed all the dangerous items. Don't tell me. You're, you're treating cooking utensils like the dangerous items? Well, those dishes are finished. I gotta go arrange the plates, so that's not a problem, but... But, but, but still... Uh, hi, May. Or Haji May. Stop it! Get off of me. Eh, that's not the s not into that sort of thing, huh? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I am the one who should be suppressed, depressed here. Hey, before you get started, get, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list, and s there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is bound to go missing in the old building, right? If it's been missing all along, if it's been missing all along, we can't really think do anything about it, right? 
You're right. No place to hide for such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All they need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Alright, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall now. Oh, okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Ah, they're finally back. Hey, let's start eating already. I'm starving. There's still one issue we need to address first. Ah, an issue? Who is going to beat the... Or who do I got to beat the crap out of? Just say one word and I'll do it for you. That won't be necessary. The issue is where we to safeguard this Dural, Dural Lumen case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Can't we just leave it here? I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem. But we should definitely up the security and keep it some uh, keep it someplace safe. Someplace safe. Oh, there's a storage room in the back of the old building. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave a case alone in there. Then someone should guard it. What would keep the or that would keep it safe? Yes. Ah, uh, who, who? I'll do it, of course. Um, are you sure, sure, sure? I guess if you insist. Uh, just kidding. It'll be, but it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. Ah, if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However, Teru Teru has gone through to the trouble of cooking. Is it alright if we... For me to bring some of it with me. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But if you're going to go on guard duty anyway, it might be better to avoid the storage room. Huh? Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it is hard to get in or hard to see in there. It's full of cobwebs. Also, I was busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even notice I had, I didn't have enough time to clean the storage room. If it stayed, like, in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard in the office? If I recall correctly, there's a circulate breaker in there. It'd be good to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not too dirty in there either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on my guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Talking with... Taking with her the Dura Lumen case, a plate piled with food, Peckle left the dining hall. Hmm. See, Peckle's back. Uh, seeing Peckle's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool, melancholy vibe. But she shouldn't have taken that other case with her, too. This? No, this case is fine. Aw, uh, no fair. You're, like, the only one going to bring their own stuff? When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. And this Dora Lumen case stays with me at all times. I put a key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility of watching over this. There's no way I can let anyone handle this matter. More importantly, we're all done, right? Let's start the party. <laughs> no, there's still more. Ugh! Who do you want me to beat the crap out of already? Hurry up! Uh, seriously, it has nothing. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about Monokuma? Of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. All right. I will let you, if you. So you'll let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're gonna end up perforated Move. are you telling me that I, to wait until I starve to death hey. so to so starve to death that's a little bit extreme isn't it our opponent is not someone we can just fight rather it's better that we use our hands and think of, our heads and think of a plan hey, hey. I'll, I'll do something about it what? do something you hey, hurry. hey now what can a girl like you do you're just gonna put yourself in danger I won't. It's not like I personally do something. Like I'll personally do something. You won't. <laughs> do you intend on utilizing Monomi? Yep. 
Yeah, if I can talk to her and talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. She looks like the type that can easily be manipulated. Plus, Manami and Monokuma are totally have this whole rivalry thing going on. Well, it's pretty one-sided rivalry. Okay? But will you be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If you if things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So, so, it's settled, right? Then we can... You're right. Let's be in. <laughs> um, so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now, it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who get together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. Hmm, Nekamaru, did something happen? The, the, the party just started, but I must return to my cottage. I'm going with you. Come on. Don't be foolish. I will not allow such selfish actions. Don't Biakia, there comes a time when a man knows when he's got to go. If I don't go now, it would be a shame. It would shame me as a man. <laughs> oh, no. There's no restroom in the cottage, is there? <laughs> oh, no. Um, How do we go about this one, chat? I don't even know. I do not even know. Because if there's... I can't believe there's no restroom in here. Why did we pick a place with no restroom, first of all? But second of all... Oh, no. So, he was talking about the toilet. If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old cottage building. Why would you need to go back to your cottage? Oh, no! He's got... He's got... Uh, what is it called? Where, like, where you have anxiety over that. I can't remember. I've been trying to use it so many times, but the door won't open at all. Whoa, whoa, what? This is blasphemy. Oh, he doesn't have the... the. Um, I don't know what the... It's gonna bother me that I don't know what it's called then. Um, but... Oh, no. What now? Impossible. My hellhound earring. It has disappeared. Did it vanish into the subspace? Calm down. You probably dropped it somewhere. Oh, oh, oh no. Shut up! Don't you even dare! Hey, is all all right? If I if it's all if it's all, is it all right if I eat all this? Don't be an idiot! Make sure you leave some for me. Come on. Hey, Biakia! Everyone, come on! Let's take a picture. Cheese. All right, say cheese. Hey, why can't we act a little bit more mature? Beep beep. What? Hmm. What was that sound just now? Bazap. Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. It's a black oh, 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 uh, oh, was I right to be not, was I right to be worried about this party? Was I right to be worried about this party? I can't see anything. In that instant, we were, st we had stumbled, as we stumbled into the darkness, out of, our, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. 
The sound of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and we immediately swallowed. We were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Wow. Who I I I don't rec I I know who that is. That sounds like that sounds like Chiaki, and I'm pretty proud of her for like stepping up in this. Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us in complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there is no way my eyes will adjust. This is hell. Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys, where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the place will overload us. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness. We fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, but after a while, it finally zapped. Ha! Huh. At the moment, the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on. A shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <laughs> that, that is... Mikan's appearance has been compromised. Oh! That's not what I was waiting... I thought we were gonna get a death. I thought we were gonna get a death. That's not. That's not what I thought was gonna happen, Mikan. No. Ah. No, Myru. Thank you for being sensible. Please forgive me. Just forgive me already. Oh, Mikan. Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. Oh, I'm just terribly sorry for all of this trouble. So so sorry. Yeah, from now on just be careful. Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here, too. Yay! So we're... You were the one that fixed the breaker, Kazuuchi? Kazuichi? <laughs> you were unusually useful this time. Well, no. I couldn't find my way back to the office with the circuit breaker. Ah, then why are the lights back on? Who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't who knows me. You're so useless. Ugh, it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my. Oh my. What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um, no. Biakia is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Uh, Biakia. We immediately looked around the dining hall and sure enough, Biakia, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? Th that's weird. He was here earlier, right? Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? Uh, in a pitch dark, in that pitch blackness? Hey. Hmm, I'm a little worried. We should split up and go looking for him. No, you never split up in this situation. I'll look in the storage room, so you can ask. I so uh, can I ask you to check the entrance, hi Hajime? Yeah, got it. For now. Then I guess I'll go look in the office. Then I shall look around the hallway. I'll wait here since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat what while this is going on? I I must bath bathroom. I must man up and check that bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands ran away because there was an itty bitty blackout. Ah, oh, such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Byakuya even go? Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. No! No, no, no. Okay, go to the bathroom, dude. You need to go to the bathroom. And, like, I'm here for it, but, like, you do take care of business. I'll take care of this. You go to the restroom. Hi, 
Hi, Monami. Chiaki and Monami were standing out in the front entrance. I guess they were watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hajime, what about the party? Oh, uh... oh, 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 oh. It's not done yet, right? I haven't joined in! Hey, Chiaki. Or Chiaki. Did you happen to see Byakia pass by here? Nope. Byakia? No, I didn't. But what happened to Byakia? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Byakia vanished during that time. So we thought that he might have gone outside, but... Nope. Nobody's come out yet. If nobody's come out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each... We might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. So nobody was able to find him? Um, Hajime, uh, how'd it go? Well, I went and talked to Chiaki, and she said she didn't go outside at all. That's, that's, that's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Mm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Mm. No one was in the office. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird. Huh? What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Um, Pekko's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well Snorts. <laughs> True, truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Um, Did something happen, Akane? Well, do you, any of you s smell something? When I, when, when partially digested food is absorbed by a small intestine, it's decomposed in bacteria, releasing gas, which mo is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whenever it cannot be absorbed, it excretes from the anus. Th th those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something that to be embarrassed about. Like no, I'm not talk talking about that. Hey. It smells like blood. Blood? Mm. As Akane's nose twitched. Like a beast, she suddenly is her. She suddenly pointed. It's coming from over there. A table at the very end of the dining hall. The smell of blood. The what in the world is in that table? It's under there. Under the table, I dashed toward the table at the back and reached out towards the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Well, why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's going to happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it in one go. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Oh, no, no, no. Who? Oh, no. I, okay. So the leader going first was actually a thing I was thinking about. But I actually did not think it was going to. I don't know. Nobody in this room is who I thought was going to be the, the one to do it. So who in the world could have done it? Oh no. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. Okay, I had a uh, I had a weird sneaking suspicion after Biakia continued going like, I can't tell you my past. My past is blah blah blah. Like when Biakia said, I can't tell you anything about my past, I was just like, and they're not gonna tell me anything. They're not gonna they're they can't confirm anything. It makes sense that Biakia is the first to go. It honestly does. I actually thought Mekon was gonna be the first to go. So when we when we panned to Mekon, I was like, no, 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 no. And then it wasn't death. And I was like, okay, that's good. I'm not right about that, thank God. But also Byakia, oh boy. What I saw was the ultimate affluent prodigy. Or I keep saying pro a progeny. Byakia Togami, already dead. And beyond recognition. I knew not to trust this party. Imagine dying at the party that you yourself made. I just stood there, horrified, as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly for the, for at the body of a, my former friend. This is... It's impossible. 
Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of a mistake. This can't be real blood, blood, blood right? It's something, something jam or sauce. Because if not, th this. What the hell? Good gracious, things quickly turn to, took a turn for the worse. My, my, now this is interesting. Oh, this tropical paradise known as Jabberwocky Island. Here, the very first murder has officially taken place. Murder? Hold on, then this does mean... Of course. Biakia was killed by one of you. If you look at that body, I can tell instantly he obviously was murdered. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life has ended with by force. All thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a, to have a dying face such as this? If it isn't a murder, then what the heck could it be anyway? Hmm. Biakia was most likely sacrificed by somebody who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered? At the moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that... That I completely accepted the fact that Biakia was murdered. Could it be? Is that really Biakia? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Biakia? Yeah. I see, I see. Perhaps Buyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna so, do? in the spirit of keeping an eye, everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? Class trial. Hey, I've already explained this to you, right? But if you're one who gets the one, who, if you one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is. Correct. That's right. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible. It can't be. Someone actually killed. There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. I, I won't believe it. One of us killed Biakia? There's no way. Something as hopeless as that would never happen. No, no, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys have already been cons con conned by the killer. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's hurry up and begin. An impass an impassioned risk life like taking battle between you guys and the blackened. And it's already started. It started the moment that one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, hey what are you saying? You Everyone, please. You cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there's one ever one truth. On you have a grandpa? Grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my <laughs> oh my god. Emergency. What happened to your grandpa? Did he get a pl into a plane crash? Hmm. I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Damn! <laughs> it hurts so much when you hit me with a charging horseshoe attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you will soon, won't soon forget. Uh, if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with their investigation. Now then, in the spirit of a lovely doubt and dumb deception, Put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck. And with that, Monica vanished, leaving us who. leaving those of us who are grief stricken alone with despair. What is this? 
What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Uh, a search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, um you can't doubt each other. Because you all are friends. M but Mr. Ham Hams did really get killed, right? And if I, we don't find out who the killer is, then we're going to get killed, right? Please, please. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I can have finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. No. Seriously, how do I even... Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? There's no other choice that we have to do it. No. Friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up. Ugh, shut up. Just go away already. You're a useless piece of trash. Threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? No. I don't want to do something like that. No. I, I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However. However, it is just like Kyoko said. If we're doing it, if we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So, for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I'll do my best to prove that there's no killer among us. There's no need for deceit to deceive or doubt each other. What we need is to fight. And it's not to fight with ourselves. No but that which is trying to crash us, this despair, this hopeless reality, is the re that's the real enemy we need to fight. I am going to survive this. Then I have to go fight it. Uh, before you start, can I say something? Yeah? In a closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we, er, what should we do? Oh, yeah. It would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. But they destroyed the evidence. Look over there. That big, bulky, brawny guy is perfect to do the guard job. Yeah, I figured Dr. Nekamaru was coming. Can I join him in the guard duty, please? I, I, I would know. The problem is, is that me, Con, you pinned my dude in a position in which I can't be with him because I have to investigate. That's the, He's the brawn, I'm the brains. We know this already. Ugh. Of course, me, Con. Of course. Gotta let the brawn do his job, but I gotta let the brain do mine. Come on, me, Con. You know better than that. I'm joking, right? What the heck happened? What the hell? What happened? That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is is that what that means? Hey. Um, I can be watch the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay here by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? M M uh, Mahiru. I'll do my very best not to get in your way. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, can I perform an autopsy, P -p please? So you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? And what specifically should we be doing? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through a, each grain of sand on the beach just to get a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll have to start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakuya. But to perform an autopsy on your friend? How cruel! But but I have no, no, no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Byakuya got killed. I don't believe it at all. Fine, I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. <laughs> Something like this can is o the only thing that we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope. Even so, I still gotta do it. And in the next episode, 
um, you know, Monica was going to explain investigation, and we're going to get on with the show and on with the investigation. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!